ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to engage FSD beta. And I'm going to begin a trip to Markham to FAF Auto Works because once again my car in a second for the second time in in almost a year, a year and one month, has been hit in a parking lot. So I'm again going to FAF Auto Works to this work done today. I'm just getting an assessment. Um, Turn left onto Mullock Drive. But I thought, given that I'll I will be taking the highway, let's just see what happens here. I'm trying not to intervene. Oh, <laughs> it, it waits and it waits and it waits until finally someone starts to go, and then it starts to go just at the same time that they start to go. Um, I think it. I think it's waiting longer now than it did before. I'm. I am on um, version 11.3.6 no of FSD beta. Um, this was supposed to be a pretty significant change. Pretty good left turn right there, by the way. Not much in terms of hesitation, and it didn't jump lanes into the right lane, which I appreciate, but. <clears throat> It still does that from time to time, but usually it does it right. Now, I'm actually going to force it off course, off of its planned course here, because I want to show you something just down the road here to our right. So, I've taken over here. <clears throat> Now I'll, I will see. Yeah, it still wants In to. In 200 meters, yeah. turn left it, onto it can be quite Valley Drive, stubborn. Savage Road. It, it will often insist on going the route that it wants to go. Um, and so right now it's just kind of rerouting us now back to the route that it originally plotted. But I, I just want to show you something up here at, uh, at Young and St. John Side Road. You'll, uh, you'll probably find this entertaining, especially given that we're on a uh, what was supposed to be a significant step up in FSD beta, version 11, which now depends more upon the neural net than basic C++ programming. But we don't really know how much it depends on the neural net and how much it depends on C++. Personally, I can't say that I have noticed any dramatic difference. In truth, I'm not sure if I, if I notice any difference at all. But I, I believe the general um, impression out there is that now that it's relying more on the neural net, it should learn faster and start correcting odd behaviors faster. So that's why I rooted us this way. I wanted to show you what happens here at this corner. We're going to be turning left off of Young Street onto St. John's Side Road. Now, I've been testing FSD beta for over a year and across many, many different versions, starting at 10 dot something. I can't, I can't honestly remember all the versions I've tested. This is my second version of version 11. I don't think I've actually tested this turn on 11.3.6. But it has consistently done this very, very odd thing at this turn in particular. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I can think of any other turn where it does the same thing. But let's see. Now that I'm recording it, maybe it just won't. Traditionally, yes, yes, here we go. Oh, and with a car right to right behind us. Here we go. Moving over to the right. 
Now and you now it wants to get over to the road. left. And now we're stuck. We're stuck. You can see it's scheming to turn left from this lane. I, of course, am not going to let it do that. Um, <laughs> so here we are, 11.3.6, it is still doing it. I can't explain that. Uh, that, I guess, falls in the category of random, illogical lane changes. And I've made another video on that. I'll leave a link up here to that video. But even with 11.3.6, even with relying on the neural net, it's still doing very strange behaviors like it has always done. So I won't, I won't rush in, in there. Maybe I'll just do a U-turn here. And, uh, and we'll carry on. I just wanted to show you that. And probably I, I will end up cutting this video a lot just to show highlights and perhaps some lowlights of FSD beta now that we're on 11.3.6. I'll, uh, I'll re-engage FSD beta now and we'll see what happens. So we know this is not going to be a perfect drive, so there's no real reason for me to not cut the video. I would leave the video uncut if FSD Beta did an entire drive perfectly, because you can't ask people to believe that, a, that it carried out a, a completely perfect drive unless you show them the whole uncut video. But here, I will edit away. Great job at the stoplight, but it's been doing that really well for, for a long time. Turns, right turns, left turns can be a bit problematic. Now something I will say here, we, we tend to accelerate at a rather slow speed. Not slow compared to gas cars, but just, I suppose, slow compared to what I would normally do or what even FSD Beta would normally do. Um, I'm just going to increase the speed a bit, but we're still likely going to catch this orange light. So yeah, the acceleration is, is um, far more reserved. And I suppose maybe that's a matter of conserving energy. I, I think I think FSD beta in general now is is a little more energy efficient. Here's this slow acceleration again. We're still pulling away from the gas cars around us, but it doesn't quite make the statement it, it used to. certainly has a good, uh, you know, immediate response to the green light. It's just a bit slow on the acceleration. Good job there, just slowing down just a little bit to give a little more time and space to the car that was turning in front of us. It no longer slams on the brakes and the response to vehicles moving in front of the car is no longer delayed. Uh, that's not necessarily new to version 11. Um, I, in fact, I, I would think maybe about six months ago that was fixed, something around there. But yeah, very human-like responses to cars cutting across our path. I'll point out the, the wider course that we see plotted in the visualization. As of version 11, the visualization changed a bit. It's no longer as colorful. We don't see the curves color, you know, red. But the path that you see in front of the car that shows you what the car is planning to do, which is really important, by the way, to see that. 
it, it's now the width of the car, which makes a lot of sense. So you can see, uh, hesitating here on this. So I, I touched the accelerator a bit to move it up, but then it, then it took over. But, you know, I did that because I had a car behind me. Nor, if there wasn't a car waiting behind me, I'd just wait and see what FSD beta would do. So yeah, back to this course path here in the visualization. It is as wide as the car, so now when it's plotting its way around, you know, a garbage truck that's stopped in your street or something like that, you can see that not only is it planning to go around the garbage truck or the parked car or whatever, um, but you can see that it it is going to clear it. And that just gives you a little more confidence. Also, when the car is slowing down, you can, of course you can feel it, but you can also see it in this wider course head, heading now, or course path. You'll see little arrows going backwards, which denote the fact it's applying regenerative braking. I'll probably slow down up here and you'll see what I mean. I'll zoom in on the visualization when it happens. So take a look here as we start to slow down. There you go, you see those, see those arrows? We're slowing down again. Nope. I'm going to drive right through, hopefully. Ooh, what's it going to do? Okay. Didn't quite get that. So, fair enough. I'm just jiggling the steering wheel. Make sure it knows I'm here. As far as I know, you know, don't count on this. But from what I've observed, while you're standing still, you don't necessarily need to give input into the steering wheel. But as soon as you're driving, you do. I don't recall ever getting nagged while we were just standing still at a light. We'll see. I, I won't touch the steering wheel and, and I'll watch out for the nag. This is a good long light. Oh, okay, yeah, letting this car go. These don't jump lanes. Good, good. Now I'm going to definitely jiggle the steering wheel because we're moving. And let's see if we'll see these arrows. Now we will be turning right up here. Uh, we'll be merging onto this highway. See the arrows? There you go, because we're slowing down. I'm sure that's regenerate. We can see that it was regenerative braking because we could see the energy that was being generated. Um, <clears throat> so right up here, we're going to be merging onto the 404. And I'll point out another issue that's never really being addressed on the right toward Toronto. when it comes to merging onto highways and that is that now take the fsd beta waits until the last possible moment to merge i have a theory that it, it has a hard time understanding the difference between a lane that is coming to an end versus a lane that's just going way off, miles off into the distance and reaching its vanishing point. So as a human, of course we've got a, this is even worse because we have a truck in front of us, but hopefully he'll get out of the way. As a human, I can see that sign. I know this lane's coming to an end. I would be getting over. It's coming to an end right now, and this car is accelerating. Of course it's accelerating because we're getting onto a highway. But as you can see, it did it well, but it waits until the last possible moment, until it is certain that, aha, yes, that's a lane that's coming to an end. I'm literally running out of road, and I've got to get over. Whereas, I have a general, I think, approach to driving, and, and that is, don't leave things any later than you need to. If you 
know you need to get into a lane to make a turn. Get into it when the getting is good, you know? Um, when there's no one around you or so on. But FSD beta tends to, in general, not think too proactively about things like lane changes and upcoming turns. I'll show you another uh, interesting thing that's changed as of version 11. So, on this little knob here, on this little FSD or autopilot control stock, this used to control the following distance between the car and the car in front of us. Now, it allows you to change on the fly between chill, average, and assertive while you're driving. Which I quite like. And, and to tell you the truth, I never noticed a big difference in changing the following setting. Like how close we're following the car in front of us. So I think in chill mode, in general, it leaves more space between you and the car in front of you. And it tends to cool it on the lane changes. Just let this guy know. Now we should be signaling to, to move into this lane, and, and it didn't signal. It was kind of an, an interesting thing because sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it signals when departing from a lane that is coming to an end. Rarely, but sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't, and, and that is also something that no turn left onto Tesla has to address. Um, because that's the law, quite frankly, if you're here we are, turn left. Now we should go into the right lane here because we're turning from a right middle turning lane. Getting over now, probably because I've got it set to assertive. And I can see there was cars up here, so it's, it's thinking, well, I'm going to drive around those guys. Those guys are going to slow me down. Now I used to swear by, you know, set FSD beta on chill, chill mode. Otherwise, it's just, it's going, it's, it's going crazy. It's like, it's, rushing. it's just way too assertive. But now I like it. Now, I tend to drive in assertive. And I'm not even pressing this option to, you, you can also click an option that, that says, please, let's keep it to minimal lane changes. As, as it happens, as is my custom, I'm running late for my appointment. So, you know, at this point, I'm I'm telling it, be assertive and change lanes as much as you need to. The speed limit's 80, so I'm going to pump it up to 90. Just a little faster, but not fast enough to get a ticket. So I notice while driving in assertive mode, again, just pop that up here, I'm in assertive mode. It's, it's tending to prefer to just stick in the left lane. But I don't believe we're going to be turning left, right? We're going to be turning right up here. And if there's no traffic in front of us, I'm not really sure why it's hanging out in the left lane. Of course, we've got a car right directly to our right, kind of hanging out in our blind spot right now. As you can see, So, it will be interesting to see how it navigates this um, lane change. So we will have to get in the right lane to turn right. So this is another example of it waiting until the last moment. We had an opportunity there where we had a bit of distance between us and this car. Now this car is passing us. This is the light. And we're stuck here in this left lane. So what's it going to do? And when is it going to do it? This seems a bit last minute to me. Last minute doesn't even cut it. Last second. Last second. This is... Odd. I'm a bit more proactive than that. So, here we've got another lane. 
human driver, I can read that sign. I would assume, you know, that lane, lanes coming to an end signs, whatever they're called, they're not displayed in the visualization, but I'm sure Teslas can read those and understand what they mean. But it waits until the last second. So this is a general theme that I've been nattering on about for a year as an FSD beta tester, and that is, it's one thing to execute the various maneuvers required to drive, but it's another thing to execute those maneuvers in a manner that telegraphs to the driver and the occupants of the vehicle and the drivers of other vehicles out there, that telegraphs to them what the car is going to do. So back there at that turn, based on what the car was telegraphing, it had no intention to turn right until the very last second. I could see in the visualization that it was it planned to turn right, but based on what it was doing, like that was, that was a surprise. It was like an evasive maneuver. Evasive maneuvers. A sudden surprise right at the last second, it, it got over. That's a theme with FSD beta. All right, so as of this intersection, we will be leaving the country. We will be entering the suburbs. And then in a moment, you know, when we get down around here, this is really a high traffic area. So, still going to pump up the speed here and leave it on assertive Let's see what it does so as you can see traffic is becoming more dense as we make our way into Markham again as you can see uh, even on assertive mode and I am I'm driving on assertive mode it tends to leave you know uh, a good distance between us and the car that we're following and it changes depending on the speed as we get slower as the speed becomes slower we'll move up towards that car a little bit more it recognizes brake lights as you can see in the visualization but I think it does take that into consideration and when when it sees that a car is hitting the brakes you will feel the car slow down a little bit. In 300 meters, turn left onto Bullock Drive. So, dense traffic, we're going to be making a left turn. It might be an unprotected left turn. Hey, I like that it moved into this left turn lane nice and early. I'd like to see it do more of that. So, hmm, it's turning left on a green light, an unprotected turn. Hmm. Let me know in the comments below. I'll have to look that up. Are we considered, is this considered a protected left turn or an unprotected left turn? Here we go. I can see that we're good. I can see that we're good, but it's hesitating. So I'm just in the car behind us, you know, beeped at us, understandably. Yeah, I don't know why it hesitated there. It was pretty clear that... that now your destination is on yeah, the right. We didn't have to worry about traffic coming towards us. I guess I better get through there. Yeah, there it is. FAP Auto Works. That's yeah, right here. Let's see what it does. Will it turn in? No. Now it's just right. going to drive by. Uh, also, there you go. You know, hey, FSD beta is solid. It assures me, uh, you know, assure might be a bit strong. It suggests, it suggests to me that we will have full self-driving cars. I think it's inevitable seeing where it's at right now and seeing the rate of progress but 
Is version 11.3.6 a game changer? No, not at all. Maybe it, maybe it will be. Maybe it's going to learn faster and I'll certainly make a follow-up video to this if I see that, um, that it, it does improve um, significantly over the, the weeks and months ahead. But right now, I'd say no, it's, it's not a game changer at all. It, to me, it's the same. Um, but in general, it's still pretty darn solid. It just has some bugs, some little snafus in, in the system at the moment. So, so there you go. That's my report. That's my update as of 11.3.6. Thanks for joining me and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.